looming war in Asia could become World War III. Recently, China fired missiles into Japan's exclusive economic zone in response to Nancy Pelosi's visit to the Asian continent. With Japan being an ally to the US, those missile strikes must have been quite the threat to both countries. But China isn't the only one to be worried about. Just a few borders away, North Korea officially made it clear that any nation that isn't an ally of North Korea can get struck by nuclear weapons based on the whims of any high-ranking North Korean figure. Japan, falling in the non-ally category, must now respond with a formidable team of the largest destroyers in the world, including the American Zumwalt class and Japan's Maya class destroyers. The Japanese Maya class guided missile destroyers are the most advanced destroyers of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. There are two ships in the class, JS Maya, commissioned on March 19, 2020, and JS Haguro, which was commissioned one year after, on 19th March, 2021. Both of these 10,250-ton ships are built on the advancements of the preceding Otago-class destroyers, wielding a long line of never-before-seen features on a Japanese destroyer in terms of its design and equipment. Design While the Maya-class destroyers share the same design characteristics as the Otago-class, they possess larger hulls to install their two IHI GE LM2500-30 combined gas turbine electric and gas turbine propulsion systems. A modification of the combined gas and gas propulsion system employing electric propulsion for low-speed cruising. Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force has been testing these hybrid electric propulsion systems for years before the adoption of the system began with the Asahi class with a voltage distribution of 450 volts. The system on the Maya class would, however, blow that out of the water with a hefty voltage distribution of 6,600 volts. In addition to those turbines, there are two KHI M7A05 gas turbines for generators, two diesel engines also for generators, two electric motors, and two shafts five-bladed CP props, all fitted on each Maya class ship to provide a combined 50,720 kilowatts of power enough to thrust the ship to a 30-knot top speed and keep all the ship's equipment running. Equipment More advanced than the Baseline 7 Aegis on the Otago class, the newer Baseline 9C version of the Aegis weapon system on the Maya class equips Maya class destroyers with the Cooperative Engagement Capability System, or CEC system for short. This enables the ship to share surveillance or targeting information with other CEC-equipped assets whether that be ships of the Japanese, American, or Australian Navy, or the E-2 Hawkeye Early Warning and Control aircraft operated by both Japan and the U.S. In addition to this new Aegis system, the Maya class is also equipped with Aegis BMD 5.1 system to counter ballistic missile threats, making them the first vessels of the Japanese Navy to be capable of ballistic missile defense from the time of commissioning. Complementing its advanced defensive capabilities, each Maya-class destroyer is armed with enough ammunition to deal lethal doses of explosions to targets in the sky or on the seas. These armaments include the SM-2MR Block 3B surface-to-air missiles, the SM-3 Block 1A, 1B, and the latest variant, Block 2A, which is a drastic redesign of older SM-3 missiles for defending broader areas. The ships also wield Type 90 SSM-1B ship-to-ship -ship missiles and the HOS-303 torpedo tubes, which are a torpedo upgrade from the HOS-302 tubes on the preceding Otago class. In addition to these weapons, the Maya-class destroyers are slated for significant armament upgrades in the form of a locally built railgun, laser point defense system, the newer Type 17 SSM-2 ship-to-ship missiles, and the much newer SM-6 missiles. The SM-6 missiles can be networked to the CEC system and thus allow it to receive targeting information from other CEC-equipped sources. While the primary role of the SM-6 is to intercept enemy aircraft and cruise missiles, it is also capable of intercepting ballistic missiles in their terminal phase and can double as an anti-ship missile, an all-round weapon to say the least. The ship is also capable of electronic warfare and decoys, Thanks to the NOLQ-2C intercept systems and the four MK-137 chaff and decoy launchers on board, 
A helicopter deck aft and a hangar enable the ship to house one helicopter while it conveniently houses its complement of 300 in convenient ergonomic spaces. All of these and more give each ship a hefty unit cost of over $1.1 billion, but both of these ships may still not be enough to keep foreign threats away. Therefore, the Japan Ministry of Defense has revealed its plan to build two huge new 20,000-ton warships. That would make them the largest destroyers in all of Asia, making a huge statement to neighboring China and North Korea. But until these ships come into fruition, Japan would need all the help it can get to keep its foes at bay. And luckily, it has the best help it could ask for in the form of the American Zumwalt-class destroyers. The Zumwalt-class destroyers are the most advanced destroyers on the planet. So advanced, in fact, that they look more like submarines than surface warships. Stealthy and armed to the teeth, ships of the Zumwalt class were designed with a primary role of naval gunfire support and secondary roles of surface warfare and anti-aircraft warfare. Zumwalt, Michael Mansour, and Lyndon B. Johnson are the only three ships in the class, a far cry from the initial 32 planned before cost overruns would force a change of plans. These three ships would prove to suffice, though. They are classed as destroyers, but are much larger than any other active destroyers or cruisers in the U.S. Navy, and very different in design, too. They have a distinctive appearance that resulted from their need for a low radar cross-section. The stealthy ships, despite being 40% larger than their predecessor, have a radar cross-section akin to that of a fishing boat, and are 50 times harder to spot on radar than an ordinary destroyer, while remaining multiple times more lethal, more mobile, and more sensitive. In terms of lethality, each ship has two helicopters on board and 80 launch cells. Each cell contains four RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, one Tomahawk or vertical launch anti-submarine missile, two 155mm 62 caliber advanced gun systems, and two 30mm MK-46 Mod 2 gun weapon systems, all of which combine to make for the most explosive encounters. And starting in 2023, the Navy plans to replace the advanced gun systems with more effective hypersonic missiles. For athletic mobility, the ship is powered by two Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines, driving Curtis Wright electric generators, and each producing 47,500 horsepower. Then there are two Rolls-Royce RR4500 turbine generators, each producing 5,100 horsepower, and two propellers driven by electric motors. All of these combine to thrust the 16,000-ton Zumwalt-class ship to a top speed of 30 knots and produce up to 78 megawatts of power. This powers up the ship's avionics that sends friend and foe from miles away, including the highly sensitive AN Spy-3 multifunction IASA radar. These and more combine to give each Zumwalt-class ship a price tag of $4.24 billion. Despite all of the moving parts on the ship, though, Automation has allowed for the ship's complement to be a relatively low 147, making the Zumwalt-class vessels less expensive to operate than comparable warships. And speaking of comparable warships, one is the Russian battlecruiser, Pyotr Veliki. The Pyotr Veliki is the flagship of the Russian Northern Fleet and the fourth Kirov-class battlecruiser of the Russian Navy. It is a 28,000-ton battlecruiser powered by a two-shaft nuclear propulsion system with steam turbine boost. This setup amounts the ship's installed power to 100,000 kilowatts, which is enough power to thrust the ship to a top speed of 32 knots. With nuclear propulsion, the ship has an unlimited range when the speed is limited to 20 knots and has a range of 1,150 miles at a speed of 30 knots. The ship is packed with over 10 different sensors and processing systems, various anti-ship and surface-to-air missiles, guns, and torpedoes. The ship is then protected by up to 76 millimeters of plating, carries up to three Kamov Ka-27 Helix or Ka-25 Hormone helicopters, and has a below-deck hangar to house them. This is one surface battleship the US and Japan could be worried about, but it is far from being the only one as China has a representative of its own, the Type 005 destroyer. China's Type 005 is a class of stealth-guided missile destroyers being operated by the People's Liberation Army Navy. The ships of this class have a multi-mission design. 
the combination of sensors and weapons suggests a main role of area air defense, with anti-submarine warfare capabilities surpassing previous Chinese surface combatants. Five of the 16 planned 13,000-ton ships of the class are already in service, and each ship costs a whopping $888 million. Like any primary warship, it is packed with the most advanced avionics, armor, and armaments that its country has to offer. It's the same thing with Russia, the US, and Japan, each pooling their advancements into one lethal floating machine that could be a deciding factor should a war break out on the Asian continent. To save the world from this war, however, the world needs you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. That would be all for now. Thanks for watching.